In professional baseball, there is a phenomenon known as getaway day. Large trucks are filled with equipment, suitcases, and everything a team needs to go from one city to another, often for weeks at a time. But after the final out on the final day of a homestand, no one feels the effects of getaway day more than the players' wives and kids. <laughs> getaway day is total chaos. Getaway day is bittersweet. It's um, a crazy day. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Picture the tunnel outside the clubhouse filled with wives, girlfriends, and kids all waiting to say one last goodbye to dad before he boards the team bus to the airport. And on this Padres team, there are several newborns, including a five and a half week old Stammen, a seven week old Benedict, a six month old Hand, and a nine month old Yates. And there are plenty of toddlers as well. Goodbye, it's just a quick goodbye, a kiss, I love you, good luck. You know, it kind of takes them a while because they have to shower and do whatever treatment and then get dressed and eat and so we're all waiting and then they come and it's literally like five minutes because the bus leaves at a certain time and so he straps them in the car seat says goodbye watches Lila throw a fit and then that's it that's getaway day. Craig loves on Chase and me a little bit more in the mornings before he leaves for the field uh, and then it's after the game we wait for him and it's a fun you know special moment we get to say goodbye to him. You just want that soak up those last few seconds holding them giving them a kiss, you know, hanging out with your wife just for a little bit before you go on the road because you know you won't see him for a few days. Lila's just getting to the point where she doesn't like it when I leave um, and she can kind of tell when I'm leaving so it's hard sometimes to leave them but um, you know it's just part of it and we got to handle it. It's hard to say bye but you know when you come home and you see her again and she's excited and everything like that it makes it better. I think that it's harder on the dads actually because so much changes, especially when they're this little, while they're gone day to day. And that's where modern technology makes up for at least a little of the absence. I FaceTime a lot more than I did before. My wife's probably like, why didn't he FaceTime before? But, you know, she's always sending me videos and photos and updating me on what's going on. So um, he's not far from my thoughts throughout the day. She has an iPad that she plays a bunch of games on, and she's learned how to FaceTime herself. So um, if she gets a hold of it, she'll call me 15 times non-stop until I answer. That's funny. You funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a parent's departure can be tough on any household, and the ones in Major League Baseball are no exception. Right now it's a lot. <laughs> um, I'm pregnant, so I'm actually due in July with our second. Um, you know, they're probably excited because they get a family-free week and no responsibilities. Um, but for us, it's kind of getting our family ready, preparing for the week with them gone, and kind of trying to figure out how you're gonna survive without them for a few days. Um, you're basically a single mom. Like, they're not there to help with bedtime routine, and this year we have two, so that's been a huge adjustment. We try to schedule time for ourselves so that we're not crazy when the boys come home and like yelling at them because they've been gone for a week. I feel like when we were younger it was harder, and now it's just like a part of life. People ask, like, well, how do you keep it together? And the outtakes are awesome. You know, there's a lot of great moments in this life, and then there's a lot of crazy moments that, but just like any mom, any stay at home, any family, but stay at home moms, especially when your kids are in your house all day, but you keep the ship a sail, you just throw the water out as you're going. <laughs> you know, those first, those first few months uh, of being a dad, I mean, you really have no idea what you're doing and how to juggle it. and. Uh, you know, I think the wife takes, takes the brunt of it, but um, it, it's tough. Um, you know, to be honest, I think it gets harder as, you, as the boys get older. As the kids get older, they, uh, you know, a little bit aware, more aware of what's going on. And, uh, you know, I think it was about two and a half, three when it really got tough. Margaret Rose. Margaret Rose, you want to meet her? That's my girlfriend's name. Hi. Oh, good name. Yeah. Hi there. How are you doing? While getaway day can be emotional, chaotic, and quick, it's not lost on anyone that simply being in this predicament is, in itself, pretty amazing. And for that, there's only gratitude. Seeing her watch her dad play, there's no way to even describe that. A strike. Strike. You know, we get to spend four months in the off-season with him every day, so um, it's got its plus, pluses for sure. Man, I miss him like crazy when we're gone, but... Uh, you know, we're very privileged to have a healthy baby boy. A lot of people in different professions have jobs where they have to 
you know, leave or travel for work, I'm sure, so it's no different for them. Obviously the team's a huge support system and you make great friends that have become like sisters. But I will say being in San Diego, it totally puts things in perspective that we are surrounded by military families. And you know, it's like, I'm, he's going to Denver. I'm okay, you know, he's completely fine, he's two hours away, and there's moms and dads here that are dealing with their husbands gone for months at a time, so we're blessed that they get to play a game, and they just, you know, part of it's traveling. It's so nice to know that they're gonna come home in a few days, and it just makes the time with them so much better. I mean, you just kinda take every moment for granted. Yeah, that's four.